Ay, Le boosted. Hi everybody, welcome to Screen Chasers. I'm Anthony Thomas and with me as always is my main man, Jermaine Sneak. And you are listening to Two Pump Chumps. Not three, but dose. That's right. Unfortunately, there's only going to be two of us tonight, ladies, because we are currently sans green. That's right, sans green. We are without green. You know why we're without green? Because that mother... Ah, Anthony, Anthony! What? Being had contractual obligations outside of screen chasers, sir. Let it go. Huh. <laughs> Let it go, brother. Let it go. Whatever. All right. So, Anthony, we just saw the movie Pain and Gain, which is about... A trio of bodybuilders in Florida get caught up in an extortion ring and a kidnapping scheme that goes terribly wrong. Hey, Anthony. Yes, Jermaine. Who directed this film? Ah, I'm glad you asked. This movie was directed by Michael Bay. Uh Uh-uh. That's right. And it stars Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne Johnson, and Jermaine Sneed. That's right. Right after 42, I'm right back in there with Pain and Game, brother. Let's do this. You are, man, I tell you what, you are a bicentennial man, my friend. You were just. Bam, 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 all year this year. You've been hitting the ground running this year. Yes, sir. Hardest working man in show business. Let's do this. That's right. Darkest man in show business, too. True that. <laughs> so Wesley gets out of jail. Oh, hmm? I think he is. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's yeah de- he needs to do something. He's Dominican, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jermaine Sneed. Yes. Was this movie worth it to you? No. This movie was not worth it to me, Anthony. I am sorry, bro. I really wanted this. I was pulling for this movie. I think you actually convinced me that I was going to love this movie. I, I, I think I did. I uh, think I you, did. You might, have, you might have. But look, hey, Michael Bay, he's out there. I know what kind of comedy he brings. And I was along with it for a little bit, but it just kept falling short. I mean, pacing, not done well at all in this movie. They really needed to work on it. The movie went way, way too long. And it just kept falling short. And I, I just got bored at times during the movie, bro. Yeah, this movie was like two and a half hours long. Felt like three. I swear this movie could have just been like uh, an hour and 15 minutes, Easily. an hour and 20 minutes at Easily. most. It, it wasn't a complex story. And honestly, it wasn't that good of a comedy that you could just kind of like keep it going. It's not a it's not a really good buddy comedy. No. Um, man, it's such a simple formula. Yes, the movie is based on a true story. I found that outrageous at times. Oh, yeah. And, yes, there were some really funny moments, but the majority of the funny moments came from The Rock. <laughs> the Rock was on his game, man. He really was. Oh, yeah. Like, Mark Wahlberg, you know, he, he plays Mark Wahlberg <laughs> he in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. And the fact that this movie's <laughs> based in 1995 is probably one of the only, like, redeeming qualities to this movie. Yeah, I would agree. Everything in the every one of the rocks lines were hysterical, <laughs> and the references to the 1995 era, like gym wear. Gym wear oh, was man. wow. Uh, what, what I wore in the movie. Yeah, yours yeah, yeah. was kind of out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Jermaine Sneed. Yes. I know you're a man who enjoys a good pump. You dang right I do. Did you like the a- the the weightlifting aspect of this movie? You know, the only thing that I would say just. Us two knowing about weights a little bit. It was kind of cool to see inside of those minds because we deal with those kind of people every single day. Yes. So that true. part about it I kind of liked. And even the whole part about doubling memberships and everything like that. That was kind of cool to look at. Oh, yeah. And I knew. And Okay. Little known fact about Jermaine Sneed and myself, little Anthony known. Thomas. We both are highly, highly involved with gyms. It's, yeah. That's our day job. That's, that's what we here. do. We're actually competitors. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. But we're friends. We're great friends, buddy. Great we friends. are. We are. So, yeah, that aspect of it was actually pretty cool with us. Uh, both of us are salesmen. Both of us work in the gym environment. So, yeah, we were both kind of stoked to see this movie and see where they handled it. I think that part of the movie was interesting. It was. Very interesting. And I think the whole, like, con artist aspect of it and uh, what's his name from Hangover, the little dude? The little Asian <laughs> yeah, dude? Yeah, what's his name? I always Doctor Dr. Chan or Dr. Lee or whatever, whatever they call him. Yeah. He, he was pretty funny, but yeah. even he didn't really... He I feel really like Michael funny. Bay didn't really utilize people to their to their strong suits. I feel like this movie was geared to just show off how huge The Rock is. And he is huge, sir. I think, I honestly, I feel like this movie like was Michael Bay's like love letter to The Rock. <laughs> like, he was like, rock. oh, Rock, you're so amazing. You're there so you huge go. and muscly. Yeah. Hey, but he's even got guys hitting on The Rock in there this movie. There were veins on top of his veins. Oh, man. 
I, I will say the Rock looks quite dashing in a yeah. beard, though. Yes, he does. He I rocks like a beard. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> One more person I love in this movie. I always forget her name. The big girl. Oh man, I could. Uh, they everyone's just calling her Fat Amy now. Fat Amy, fine. I'll go with Fat Amy for now. I love that girl. Every line in this movie that she had, I was rolling. She was actually on some comedy spotlight I saw probably like eight years ago. Yeah. And it was just this whole part about how, like, when she was in school, because she's a British, she's yeah, a British yeah, comedian. Of course. She was talking about how she was in school, and they did this, like, little, the girls would pick on her and go, you're fat and ugly, and no <laughs> one's ever, ever, ever going to impregnate you. She's like, oh, that was very welcoming in the sixth grade. <laughs> but uh, she's made little cameos in a bunch of other movies, and for some reason, she's getting a lot of notoriety lately, and I love it. Yeah, I mean, she hosted the MTV Movie Awards. She did. She did host the MTV Movie Awards. That's crazy. Coming up girl, man. That, I especially like the scenes where she likes the chocolate. Oh, yeah. She that does. Got to me. Chocolate covered raisins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> At least they're chocolate covered. Oh, mm. man. Well, um, we could go on and on about the where this movie really fell short. Yeah. But, unfortunately, we're not going to spend too much time in this. It's <laughs> not worth it. So, Sorry. We're just, we'll save you your money. Don't go see this movie. You can wait to watch it. Will you enjoy it, watching it at home? I think yeah, so. you will. it's a home film. Man. It, it, really it definitely is. is. It, it's like a really good straight-to-DVD movie. Yeah. Let, let me say this, though. There's a lot of ladies that will probably go just to like to watch. Rosh the Rock look really swell. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he does. Okay, if you like Magic Mike, you'll like this yeah, movie. Because apparently know. you don't really care about what good movies are. And if you just no. want to see big dudes and their underwear, then yeah, go see this. This movie was geared towards women. And at the same time, Michael Bay showed you a lot of titties. <laughs> yes, he did. I will give him props for that, sir. So, with that being said, Jermaine, why don't you go ahead and take us home? All right, folks. Thanks again for listening to, well, two pump chumps as it is right now. Those pump chumps? We'll go with that since we're drinking Dos Equis. Oh, right, product, product placement, product like placement. son of a bitch. Dos Equis, people. Anyway, check us out on YouTube, Google+, Facebook, and we be tweeting, y'all. Jermaine tweets. Anthony tweets also. He even retweets. He hashtags a lot. Hashtag it will work. Hashtag trending topic. Hashtag Anthony Profane. Hashtag people, we are out. Ha! Boosted. Ha 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 ha.